good night. Yeah, good night. I think it was a good performance and a good way to obviously clinch the title. Wait night? No. No, early enough night. Game on Saturday, so I'm sure we'll celebrate after that. Was it important to do it in style? Yeah, I think it was. I think first half last night we didn't play particularly well. We were a little bit sloppy after getting off to a great start. So, um, yeah, I think we finished the game well. and It's always the way you want to do it. Is your second goal as good as you've, you've had this season? Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, probably my best goal of the season so far by a mile, so delighted with it, but you know, overall it's all about the performance and I think we've just carried on with, you know, how well we've done in the league so far this year. If you look at the teams that have challenged you, Aberdeen, Motherwell Dungeon United, they've all improved in points this season. Celtic have improved greatly as well. You've, this is the earliest that Celtic have ever won the title, I think. It's certainly it's the earliest that the title's been won in eighty odd years. What does that say about the competition? I think, like you said, obviously Aberdeen this year have been very strong, and all the teams obviously are improving. But um, yeah, we we just concentrate on ourselves. You know, every year we've tried to push forward, and I think this year, domestically in the league, we've been I think we've been outstanding and very consistent. But we're slightly disappointed with obviously the cups and you know Europe, and that's something that we need to try and improve on. But take nothing away from our domestic form in the league because it's it's been outstanding. There will always be talk about Rangers not being in the league and what competition you have, but how big an achievement is it even without Rangers? Yeah, listen, it's massive. It's never it's never easy winning games week in, week out and the gaffer um yeah, the gaffer tells us that before every game, so we can only beat what's in front of us and you know, at the same time we need need to keep trying to improve improving the squad and everyone as a whole for Europe as well and like I said, we are a little bit disappointed obviously with the cup competitions this year and we would have liked to you know, give it a better shot at Europe, but we're going to try and improve for next year. What can you say about your manager? There's not many that have won three in a row for Celtic. I think he's been outstanding. You know, he's he sort of re built his own squad here and all the players here he's brought in. So, you know, you can't praise him highly enough and he's had enough to deal with up here as well. So, you know, with, with that in the background as well, I think it's been phenomenal what he's done. Are you worried you might lose him to England? Um, listen, that's that's out of my hands. You'll have to ask him about it when he sits here. But um, I'm sure everyone at the club, including myself, is just hoping that he stays as long as possible. Now the league's won. Is it about performances for this season to keep the fans interested and wanting to come for these last seven games? Yeah, of course. But listen, we're not going to. We don't want to tail off. We want to go out and try and impress in every game and that'll be no different from now to the end of the season. I'm sure everyone, every player's got their own motivation for the rest of the season. What's yours? Um, score more goals, keep playing the way I am, try and be as consistent as possible and just help the team. Is the team ready, do you think, to get through the Champions League qualifiers or do you still think it needs a bit of supplementing? Um, I think, that's, listen, it's difficult to say. I think at a club like this, you know, most transfer windows, you'll see a lot of movement and players coming in and I don't see it being any different come the summertime. So um, I'm sure the gaffer will look to strengthen the squad and we all need to try and improve as well. So, Because uh, you saw the difference this year in the campaign compared to last season. Um, and there was obviously a few guys who left last year. There wasn't much change in, in, in January. Do you feel that a few additions would give you a, a realistic chance of making an impact in the group stage? Yeah, listen, it's, it can only help, you know, if we're bringing in better quality of players and improving the squad, it's good for the club and, you know, I think it perks people up as well, you know, when you have players coming in, you know, you need to up your game to try and stay in the team and I think, um, yeah, individually and as a, as a whole, I think it can only help. And did you, you, you think you lost seven games in the league last season, just won this season, did you make a kind of conscious effort to, to, to improve that record and to, you know, to, to try and make sure that we... You, you won the league by more. Yeah, of course we had to. You know, last year, you know, we dropped a lot of points and we were nowhere near as consistent as this year. But I think, I think this year it's just it's just clicked. You know, there's been a couple of players come in and definitely improved the squad. And I think, you know, you look at the squad as well. It's a very, you know, very young squad. And I think a lot of the players are developing and, and improving. And hopefully that's the case over the coming years. How do you keep yourself motivated to go out the league games perform like, like you have been doing when you know that you're so far ahead? I think it's you know it's it's a bit of pride as well. You want to go out and perform in every game. You don't want to be out and be go out in games and be sloppy and, and drop points regardless. And the fans the the fans pay good money to come and see us p play. And you know we deserve to put on the show for them. When you look at the start of the season. Obviously you lost Victor and, and Gary Hooper and other players as well. Was there a, 
do you feel that it took a wee while to get, get over that, or, or did, how did you get kind of keep in your rhythm when you lost someone? It, yeah, listen, it's always difficult. You know what I mean? But you look at the Kaffirs were pl- brought in players like Big Verge. I know a few of the boys haven't probably got as much game time as they would have liked. Like the Derek and Pookie and Balde, but even Stefan's come in and been outstanding. So for some of the boys, I think it'll just take them a little bit of time to maybe just adjust to the game. But there's definitely been quality added to the squad as well. Do you think you got the credit you deserve? It doesn't really matter, you know. At the end of the day, we've won the league, and it's like the gaffer says, we're just here to impress ourselves and the fans, and you know, do the best we can. And like I said, domestically this year, I think we've been, um, I think we've been outstanding. How would you assess your season? Um, I think I think I've improved as a player this year. I think, you know, I hear the gaffer saying it during the week, but. I feel like I'm bringing more to the team, but I'm lacking lacking a few goals here and there. And I obviously want to try and score as many as I possibly can. But when we're winning games and I'm playing well, that's all that matters. Mm, is it the incentive for you? Should you be scoring more goals than the likes of Chris Collins? Well, possibly, but you know the way things have turned out this year, it's everything Chris hit has hit the back of the net, and he's he's been unbelievable. So you can't take anything away from that. But obviously on a personal level, yeah, I do judge myself on goals, but this year, I feel like the performances have been, um, yeah, I think they've been good. Would you like to see yourself have a more prominent role next season when it comes to the to, to the European games? Well, I felt like this year I have, you know, I've, I'd imagine I played 90% of the games in Europe, but it was just a disappointing campaign, and I think, you know, for myself and obviously for the club, I think we just want to go on a better run next year and obviously do as well as we possibly can. Celebrations were cut a bit short last night. Are you looking forward to a big party on Saturday? Yeah, it'd be nice to celebrate at home in front of our own fans. And yeah, the way things turned out last night was uh, it wasn't ideal. But you know, sometimes the the occasion just takes over with people, so you can't can't have too many complaints.